Geothermal energy is a globally scalable resource. It's available anywhere and everywhere. The center of the Earth sits at 6,000 degrees centigrade, and that heat radiates out at different rates in different places. But if you go deep enough, you are always going to find the heat you are looking for. Take the land surface of the Earth and imagine it as a single island. This will represent the geothermal potential of the Earth. We will use different colors to show where all the different geothermal energy technologies sit in their ability to draw heat from the Earth. To do that, we will label this island and split it between igneous and sedimentary rock. Then, split it again between high permeable and low permeable rocks. On the left, we will display the temperature gradient, which correlates to different applications of the heat produced, which is displayed on the right. The higher the temperature, the more suited that heat is for electricity generation. Ground source heat pumps, or geo-exchange systems, fill up space along the bottom. They range from around 30 degrees plus and are fantastic for individual dwellings or small buildings, as they do not sit very deep in the ground. These are examples of a classic closed-loop system, and tens of thousands of these are being installed in most countries around the world today. On the right-hand side, you will see the traditional aquifer-based geothermal, and within that, occasionally, the use of produced water from oil and gas operations. This example comes from Vermilion in France, where the reuse of the hot water produced from their oil and gas operations is used for agricultural heating. In most cases, aquifers are not present and the hot rock is dry, or a small aquifer is found but the rock surrounding it is relatively impermeable. Some companies will look to enhance that permeability through enhanced geothermal systems, or EGS, which uses fracking techniques to increase the flow rate of water through the hot rock. On the left-hand side, this again is traditional geothermal, where they are looking for flow between the faulted basement or igneous rocks. If that flow is not found, there is again a possibility of enhancing the permeability through EGS. As you can see, there is still a tremendous amount of geothermal potential available, and this is where the closed-loop systems come into play. The first of those are pipe-and-pipe -pipe systems, but these are a fairly niche application and therefore leave a huge amount of geothermal potential unutilized. The remaining potential is the market for ever and the ever loop. On the right-hand side, we focus on drilling horizontally into the sedimentary rock, similar to the Everlight demonstration facility that we drilled in 2019 in Alberta to prove the technology. On the left-hand side, we are drilling deeper into the igneous rock instead of drilling horizontally to pick up more heat from the earth. With this combination of different approaches and different technologies, we finally have a way of turning geothermal into a massively scalable, renewable, baseload energy resource. Energy forever.